Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let us see the model question paper for the subject Embedded System Design released by VTU. Let us compare the questions against the syllabus what the Embedded System Design has and let us also find out some important questions out of this subject. So here at my left, I have a syllabus copy for the Embedded System Design BEC601. At the right side, I have a model question paper released by VTU. So let us get in. The very first module is about introduction to embedded system. Here starting from the definition of embedded system, classification, applications and different types of controllers and the processors we use in embedded system and also the architecture of those and IO subsystems what we are going to use, sensors, actuators will be discussed. So out of this module, if you see the model question paper, the very first question is define embedded system. This is a very important question students has to answer exactly what embedded system is and classify the embedded systems based on the generation, complexity and uh, triggering. So this question is all about classification of embedded system based on different methods. So here is the classification of embedded systems topic with respect to that the question is asked for 10 marks, 8 marks to 9 marks will be for the classification and 1 or 2 marks will be given for the explanation what students wrote for embedded system definition. Next question is about explain the following optocoupler, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, SPI and USB. So uh, optocoupler is a actuator. It can be a consist of a sensor as well. And Zigbee, Wi-Fi, SPI, USB are um, the communication interfaces. So together they have asked here it is for 10 marks each carries 2 marks. And then the choice question is list the features of the following I2C bus and IRDA that is infrared, one wire interface and keyboard and UART. So this is also for 10 marks. Briefly we need to explain these and here they have asked the features means when they will be useful and what is the uh, bandwidth and what is the uh, features of those we need to write. Illustrate the architectural block diagram of embedded system, mention its components used. So here in the syllabus you can see the typical embedded system is there. So this is the topic uh, where the architectural block diagram mean. So we need to write the core uh, memory and input outputs of the embedded system as sensors and transducers like that. So this carries 10 marks. So uh, from the module 1 these are the questions and also some important questions are there here. Difference between microcontroller and microprocessor can be asked. Difference between the application, uh, difference between the embedded system and general purpose system can be asked. So there are many topics here, but where they are very simple, it is easy to score from module 1. Coming to module 2, module 2 is embedded system design concepts. Here characteristics and the quality attributes of the embedded system, operational and non-operational quality attributes uh, which are them and embedded system application and domain specific, uh, hardware software co-design, programming model uh, and embedded firmware design development is the content. So in the model paper, discuss the operational and non-operational quality attributes of the embedded system. This is a direct question. Compare DFG, CDFG models with an example, C versus embedded C and compiler versus cross compiler. So this is the question asked for 10 marks. Then in choice question, explain assembly language based embedded firmware development with diagram. There is a diagram we need to write here and mention its advantages and disadvantages. So here we need to explain assembly language based uh, firmware development with a diagram and we need to write the advantages and disadvantages. This is also for 10 marks. Demonstrate coin operated telephone system with FSM. We need to write the uh, steps involved in that through the finite state machine and function of states and the state transition diagram. This is also for 10 marks. Then coming to module 3. Module 3 is about RTOS and IDE for embedded system design. Here uh, operating system basics and types of OS, process, threads and thread uh, preemption and preemptive task scheduling techniques and uh, synchronization issues, RTOS integration, testing embedded hardware firmware and uh, embedded system development environment is the content. In the question paper we see explain monolithic and microkernels with suitable uh, examples for each. Discuss the terms what is task, what is process and what is thread here and then three process uh, uh, IDs P1, P2, P3 with estimated completion time is 10, 5, 
7 milliseconds respectively enter the ready queue together in the order p1 p2 p3 calculate the waiting time and turnaround time for each process and average waiting time uh, and tat assuming there is no io waiting for the process this is a kind of problem which is asked for six marks and in the choice question write a note on iap that is in application programming and in system programming is asked and demonstrate the block uh, schematic for ide environment for embedded uh, system design explain their functions in brief this is for eight marks okay and then illustrate the concept of deadlock what is deadlock in uh, oh, rtos with knee diagram mention the different conditions with uh, favors the deadlock situation so this is a kind of question which is repeatedly asked whenever the rtos things comes so this is about module 3 coming to module 4 module 4 is uh, completely arm embedded systems here risk uh, design philosophy and uh, embedded system hardware amba bus protocol that is apb ahb and then arm uh, bus technology memory peripherals and embedded system software that is initialization uh, using boot operating system applications and then arm processor fundamentals arm core data flow registers current program status register and exceptions interrupts and vector table core ex extensions so in this module they are asking to list the different registers of the arm cortex uh, and m3 this is and mention their use explain the use of r13 r14 and r15 registers is asked this is about the registers summarize uh, the cpsr configuration illustrate how to access different subdivisions of psr is asked explain exceptions and interrupts of arm cortex is asked asked uh, arm cortex m3 so here they have split it for 866 and in the choice question if you see the block diagram this is expected functioning uh, functions of various arm cortex m3 processor architecture is asked here discuss any five applications of arm cortex m3 based on its features so applications can be asked or the block diagram or the schematic architecture is very important explain the processor models of arm cortex 3 along with a diagram here processor modes is asked uh, for five marks this is from module 4 Module 5 is instruction set, introduction to ARM instruction set, here data processing instructions, load store instructions, software inst uh, interrupt instructions and then uh, program status register instructions, loading constants and ARM version 5e extensions and conditional execution. In the module 5, explain following 32 bit instructions with example for each ADC, BIC, LSL and push is uh, given, this is for 8 marks. Describe CMSIS with diagram and its functions, organization and scope is asked. Write an ALP to add first 10 integer numbers using Cortex M3 processor is asked here. Then in the choice question, explain the following instructions with syntax and examples for each. Add.w, LDMIA, BEQ, LSR, uh, if then. So these instructions, uh, syntax need to be written and also how they will be useful with the example we need to explain and the last question is explain different rotate and reverse instructions of cortex m3 with example for each so in this module uh, instructions will be asked with an example and also syntax need to be remembered so in the module 4 one block diagram kind of question can be expected and coming to module 3 is all about uh, kernels and threads and processes and module 2 is all about the operational and non-operational attributes and uh, uh, hardware software co-design question can be expected and in module 1 there are uh, multiple concepts which are very important they will be asked like this for uh, short answers like uh, 2 to 3 marks or 5 marks briefly explain like that and difference question can be expected here there is no uh, difference is asked like microprocessor to microcontroller or general purpose to embedded system like that so this is about the model paper given by VTU, uh, one model paper is released and the solution to this model paper can be expected in this uh, channel very soon. I will be giving the answers for the complete all the questions and also module wise videos are being uploaded. Uh, so please like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get a notification when the new video is uh, uploaded. So this is all about the model question paper one. So in the subsequent videos, we will see the solutions for these questions as well.
थैंक यू